address a situation that has become a talking point in this community over the past week, and especially on Facebook, that centers around me. On Friday, I received the following email from a lacrosse man with the subject line, Community Responsibility, and it reads as follows. Hi, Jennifer. It's unusual that I see your morning show, but I did so for a very short time today. I was surprised indeed to witness that your physical condition hasn't improved for many years. Surely you don't consider yourself a suitable example for this community's young people, girls in particular. Obesity is one of the worst choices a person can make and one of the most dangerous habits to maintain. I leave you this note hoping that you'll reconsider your responsibility as a local public personality to present and promote a healthy lifestyle. Now, those of us in the media, we get a healthy dose of critiques from our viewers throughout the year, and we realize that it comes with having a job in the public eye. But this email was more than that. While I tried my best to laugh off the very hurtful attack on my appearance, my colleagues could not do the same, especially my husband, our 6 and 10 anchor, Mike Thompson. Mike posted this email on his WKBT Facebook page, and what happened next has been truly inspiring. Hundreds and hundreds of people have taken the time out of their day to not only lift my spirit, but take a stand that attacks like this are not okay. Now we're gonna have more on that in just a second, but first, the truth is, I am overweight. You could call me fat, and yes, even obese on a doctor's chart. But to the person who wrote me that letter, do you think I don't know that? That your cruel words are pointing out something that I don't see? You don't know me. You are not a friend of mine. You are not a part of my family, and you have admitted that you don't watch this show. So you know nothing about me but what you see on the outside. And I am much more than a number on a scale. We need to teach our kids how to be kind, not critical, and we need to do that by example. So many of you have come to my defense over the past four days. I am literally overwhelmed by your words. We are better than that email. We are better than the bullies that would try to take us down. And I leave you with this. To all of the children out there who feel lost, who are struggling with your weight, with the color of your skin, your sexual preference, your disability, even the acne on your face, listen to me right now. Do not let your self-worth be defined by bullies. Learn from my experience that the cruel words of one are nothing compared to the shouts of many. Jennifer Livingston is with us now. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, thanks for having me. Well, we in the media get criticized often and you decided to fight back and call this particular viewer out. Why? In my opinion, getting emails usually is something about a story which I think is fair game or it's something about the coat I'm wearing or the way my hair is styled. This was a personal attack, not only on my size, but on my ability to role model our community and young girls, and I am a mother of three girls, and that hit home, and I did not think that is fair. That email was well written, it was articulate, but make no mistake about it, it was meant to hurt my feelings. It was meant to shame me into losing weight, and in my opinion, that's a bully. Jennifer, you say it was cruel, that email, and your response to it has gone viral. I saw it on Twitter, people tweeting to me saying, have you seen this? Um, were you surprised by the reaction? Very surprised. I, I have never done anything like that. I've never done an editorial in my 15 years in the business. And so I knew that it would get some reaction locally. I, I was hoping to inspire people within our community to start the conversation about bullying. I had no idea that this would happen. And uh, I'm happy it did. I'm not sure when I've gotten myself there. But if I can champion a cause for students and, and kids out there, I'm happy to do it. I have to say, Jennifer, go you. I get these cranky Yankee emails all the time, so I know exactly what you mean and how you feel. I am curious, though, about how you feel about your weight. You know, those of us who struggle with weight, I'm a card-carrying member of Jenny Craig, so I know this struggle. I know what it means. So how do you feel? Are you thinking, I'm fine the way I am? Or, listen, I am trying to lose a couple of pounds. You know, I have always struggled with my weight since I started having children, since my daughter was born 10 years ago, and it has been a roller coaster ride of weight gain yeah. and loss. And 
and I lost 40 pounds between my second and third child and gained it all back and then some with my third child who's yeah. now a year old. I, if I could choose and snap my fingers to be a size that I don't have to shop off the plus size rack, that would be great. But I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm proud of who I am. Good. I think that I do a job that is not necessarily worth being critical about my appearance. Talk to me about the stories I cover, not the way I look. There you go. Uh, Jennifer, part of the story is what you said and did. The other part is the response from people. What do you think it was about? What's the greater meaning of this, and how much did it mean to you? Well, I have had the conversation with my own 10-year-old daughter about bullying, and I'm trying to encourage her. Step up for people who are being bullied. If someone is coming after you, you need to be strong and stand up for yourself. When we talked about the female as a family, what kind of a role model am I if I don't do it myself? And that is what I have seen as, as a reaction from the people of literally around the world. They're saying, thank you for standing up for us. I think it's not just a weight issue. This is not a weight issue. People were bullied about so many different things, and we just need to take a stand. It's not okay. I think hopefully I'm going to be one of many that is taking the charge in that, and we can change the way that our society is today. Have you had any communication with the man who sent you the email? I see he's released another statement. Yes, he, he released a statement. We reached out to him. We actually invited him on our show, and he declined to do that, but he released a statement saying that he hopes this platform that I have now uh, been given is a great opportunity for me to lose weight in front of everyone, and uh, he encourages me to do that and hopes that uh, in a year I will be uh, a better example of health for people. So. He's standing strong. You know what? I think that the, the role model that you show is that not everybody on TV has to be as skinny. They need to be successful. So I say, go you, Jennifer Livingston. And I know your brother. I know who your brother is. He's an actor, Ron Livingston. What has he said to you this morning? Ron Livingston was on Sex and the City. Oh.